Hello and welcome. Today we're traveling to the stunning Jaeger National Park and visiting Station Creek Campground. Please find a link in the description below to the Google map and also links to flood and fire information, national parks, as well as if you're interested, photography equipment that I use on my journeys. Let's get into it. I would like to pay my respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians on this land on which this filming takes place, and that is the Yagel people and Gambanga people. I'd like to pay my respect to elders both past, present and emerging, and in Gambanga, say Ginige Ninjawan, which is hello and welcome. Welcome to Jaeger National Park, one of the most scenically magnificent tracks of coastline on the East Australian seaboard, with rocky headlands, sweeping beaches, and our diversity of natural and cultural environments. You won't be let down. This southern end of Jaeger National Park contains Station Creek and Pebbly Beach camping areas. We're going to be looking at Station Creek today. The Solitary Islands Marine Park adjoins the area, providing excellent recreational opportunities for campers and day visitors alike. You can access Station Beach camping ground with a two-wheel drive. However, Pebbly Beach is definitely four-wheel drive only as you have to go over a beach and you also have to watch the tides and make sure you cross over at low tide. Station Creek camping area is surrounded by magnificent smooth barked apple trees and scientifically known as Angophora costata. And adjacent to Station Creek, this secluded camping area is the perfect place to relax and unwind. It's only a short walk to Station Creek Beach through the dunes and we'll do that in a little bit. And we also explore Corkwood's Cribbly Gum Walks and you can see that in part two of our series. It is really rich in bird life and mammals. We found possums and we saw turkeys and we also saw a beautiful large goanna. And he'll be coming up shortly.
So I might do a time lapse. So this is the very first time we're setting up the Kulkane Swag Camper. Um, can I just say, do not rely on the instructions because they are really hard to interpret and very small and the, and the diagrams are really hard to decipher. Please let me know, Kulkane Campers, if you wish me to redesign the brochure for you, I'm happy to do it. And nevertheless, we finally worked it out and had an absolutely beautiful sleep. It was one of the most comfortable swags I've ever slept in. So yes, well worth the effort. The lace monitor or tree goanna is a member of the monitor lizard family native to Eastern Australia. This one was quite tame, although not tame enough to pat obviously, um, and apparently hangs around the campground quite a bit looking for food. Beware and pay respects to the goanna. If frightened, they do have a tendency to want to race up anything, and that includes yourself because they think it's a tree and so there has been cases where they have run up a person's body and held onto their head so be very mindful of goannas and just give them respect this one is tame but many of them aren't When you visit Jaeger, you're entering one of the most diverse bioregions in Australia. Wander past age-old coastal landforms, littoral rainforests, eucalyptus forest, woodland and wetlands, much of which simply would not be there without the park's protection. The park not only boasts a superb coastline, but also features rivers, lakes and estuaries, so swimmers and snorkelers aren't spoiled for choice. Remember your fishing rod, the waters off the peak are excellent for dewfish and the Sandon River is among the most state's most popular fishing spots. If surfing is your thing, you can't beat the legendary Angari Surfing Reserve. It hosts what arguably Australia's best right-handed point break. Jaeger is also a paddler's paradise. Its sheltered waterways provide ideal settings for canoeing, kayaking and boating.
The landscape of the Yeager National Park has been and remains the country of Aboriginal groups. Generations of Yeagal and Gumbanga people camped, fished and held ceremonies here and numerous areas remain of strong spiritual significance to the Aboriginal community. Take the freshwater walk and view the most impressive pandanus palms. This important Gumbanga ceremony plant was used to weave neckbands, dilly bags and baskets. Where it's got the it's got the directions of the wall in there. But Lovely. We're just walking up now to where we find the corkwood and scribbly gum walk and that is part two in this series and you can find it if you click on the links to our orange flare walking tracks. Mm. 
At Jaeger, you can see some of the country's most vulnerable native wildlife up close, such as squirrel gliders and eastern grass owls. Now, I was sitting around the campfire, playing around with some long exposure fire shots, as you do, and we heard this significant noise in the bush, which made us both jump up. And this was a really beautiful brush tail possum, a common sight apparently around this area. Uh, first we thought he was very shy so I filmed him for about 20 odd minutes being very quiet and as soon as I turned my camera off he got down and walked around our feet and was trying to find food to eat so um, he was very tame. Be mindful though they're still wild animals so try not to feed them and also don't try and pick them up because they can actually hurt you. I thought I'd round it off by showing you a couple of beautiful drone videos that I took the very next morning. The first image glides you down looking at Solitary Island Marine Reserve and into Red Rock and that is the beach that you drive up to get to Pebbly Beach Campground. The second viewpoint, which overlooks Pebbly Beach and Pebbly Beach campgrounds, swings you gracefully around and follows the trail that we walked across to the beach yesterday and glides you over Station Creek Campground and then shows you beyond, which is the road that we came down to get into the campground. Please like and subscribe, that would be fantastic if you did. And make sure you catch up with part two, which is a corkwood and scribbly gum walk. It's worth a watch.